Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created my version of a classic Christmas makeup look, just keep on watching. To start things off, I'm going in with a primer and the one that I'm using is the Models Prefer Liquid Light Brightening Primer. This one has a subtle gold sheen throughout it so it really makes my skin glow. To target my pores, I'm applying the Benefit Porefessional to the T-zone area of my face. Moving on to foundation, I decided to go with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation and I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush to apply that to my face. Seal and to highlight my skin, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. So I'm just taking that and applying it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and a little above my brows as well as on my chin. And then I'm taking my damp beauty blender and blending it all in. On his set that concealer I am taking the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. This is a very, very finely milled powder as you can tell because you can see it flying through the air. But the great thing about it is that it gives my skin that really nice smooth airbrush finish and it prevents any creases from occurring in my under eye area. And for the rest of my face, I'm just going in with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Translucent. For this look, I decided I wanted a more subtle and soft contour, so I'm using the Chanel Cream Bronzer with a Real Techniques Contour Brush, and I'm just contouring the areas of my face that I would usually contour. So that's the hollows of my cheeks, uh, my hairline, underneath my jaw, and then as well as the sides of my nose. And so I'm offering this sample phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times. As you can see, I am applying my Face of Australia blush in Terra, and I'm using a stippling brush because I didn't have any clean blush brushes at the time. Moving on to eyebrows, I am filling them in with my brand spanking new e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. I absolutely love this and I don't understand why I didn't pick it up sooner. But here I am filling in my brows. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now that all my base is done, I can do my eyes. So I'm starting off with the NYX eyeshadow base. This is just the flesh tone colour and I'm applying it to both of my eyelids. So for my transition colour, I am firstly applying the shade Natural from the new Models Prefer Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just using a fluffy blending brush to blend that into my crease. Now 
Next up, I'm just using a more precise blending brush and I'm taking the colour Earth from that same palette and applying it right through my crease all the way to the inner corner of my eye. And this is just to add a little more depth and give more dimension to the eye. But as you can see, this look involves a lot of blending and a lot of layering of different shades of brown. And again, I'm going in with another shade of brown, but this time it's a shimmery dark brown called Willow. So I'm just applying that to the outer corner and inner corner of my eyes, making sure to keep the middle of my eyelid blank because I'm going to add something to that next. In heaven. So here I am spraying my brush with Fix Plus because I'm going into the Astralis Bronze Eyed Girl palette and taking this beautiful gold colour and applying that to that blank space I left on my eyelid. And as you can see, the Fix Plus really helps to intensify the shade of gold I'm using. I decided I wanted to add more to the inner and outer corner of my eyes, so I'm taking that same matte brown earth colour and just applying that a little more precisely in those areas. Now I'm just running a clean blending brush through the crease of my eye just to blend everything together nicely. I did warn you guys that this look includes a lot of layering so I'm just taking the shade Golden from that palette and adding it to the very centre of my eyes. I actually nearly forgot to do this step, but here I am just running some of that colour willow along my bottom lash line. That's what I hear him say. Next up, I'm just lining my eyes, so I'm using the Savvy Soft Glide Eyeliner in the shade Brilliant Brown. It's this really beautiful metallic brown shade. You brought joy to the world. And of course, I am applying a winged liner, so I'm using none other than the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner Pen. This thing is amazing, it literally makes doing a winged liner easy for anybody. It was actually at this point that I realized I forgot to add something to the inner corner of my eyes, so here I am just using the Balm's Mary Luminizer and applying it to that area. I wanna get to know you better. I wanna know you better. And here I am curling my eyelashes because I'm going to apply some mascara to them and put some fault seeds on. I wanna know you better. This Christmas, my is blazing bright, and we'll carry on through the night. And this Christmas. After my mascara has dried, I'm then going in with my falsies, so this time around I'm using the Red Cherry Demi Wispies. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a Christmas look is not complete without a red lip, so I'm using the Essence Lip Liner in Red Blush to line my lips and fill them in to prepare them for the lip colour I will be applying to them. Now I will be the first to say that I've always hated lipsticks this colour. It's like this deep red with gold shimmers throughout it and I usually hate anything that's not a solid and matte colour. But I'm using the Astralis Bula Lips Matte Lip Cream in the shade Grandfather <laughs> Grandmaster Pash, not Grandfather, Grandmaster Pash. <laughs> so I originally planned not to apply a shimmery highlight to my skin like I always do, but I couldn't resist, so I'm using the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. 
reasons, reasons. The kids fighting over who's cheating. Please bless the food so we can start eating. Watch a couple of games. There we have it guys, my look is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because then you can be notified of when I upload a new video. Until next time, take care. Oh, yeah.